Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create shared parameters in your nested Revit families. This is part three of my nested Revit family tutorials. In the first video, we looked at how to create instance parameters from dimension strings to make elements movable. In the second video, we learn how to create visibility parameters and then create different types in your Revit family. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make each element in your family shareable and then create a shared parameter, which gives you greater control over the elements in your family. This is where we left off last time. We had four exam rooms and we used the same family to populate uh, this equipment in all these exam rooms. We have different family types, so certain rooms have a chair instead of a stretcher. And we've also manipulated the position of uh, some of the carts. The issue we have now is that we cannot select individual elements in this family. If you want to change the color of the elements or if you want to tag them, we're unable to do so. And that's because those individual families aren't shared. I'm going to go back to the nested family, select the doctor's stool and edit it. In the properties panel, if you scroll down, you see a checkbox next to shared. Once we apply that, we're going to load it back into our Revit family and overwrite the existing parameters. We need to do that with every single piece of equipment that we have in our family. So I'm going to do that next to the IV stand. I'm going to edit the individual family Again, go to the properties panel and select shared and then load that into our Revit family. We're going to do the same with the patient bedside table as well as the cart, the lifts, stretcher, chair, all the pieces of equipment. So you can see that by hitting the tab button, we're able to select those pieces of equipment and tag them individually we have greater control over them in our project. What I'm now going to show you is how to create a shared parameter in your nested family in order to change the color of those pieces of equipment. I'm going to go to our family, go to the manage tab and hit shared parameters. I'm going to create a new parameter called EQ color and it's going to be a text file. Once that's done, we're going to have to create a new group. I'm going to use the same name for that, as well as a new parameter itself. This is going to be a text parameter, so I'm going to change the type of parameter from length to text. I'm going to give it the same name, EQ color. What we've done is create a shared parameter file. You then have to apply it to your family. And the way to do that is to go to your family types create a new parameter and instead of a family parameter like we have been doing, we're going to choose a shared parameter. It's not enough to just apply the shared parameter to your overall family. You have to apply it to each individual piece of equipment. So I'm going to select the doctor's stool, edit the family and in that piece of equipment, again, go to family types, create a new shared parameter. And by default, you should be able to to see the EQ color text file. I'm going to load this updated model into our nested family. I'm then going to repeat this whole process for every other piece of equipment. We then have to load this updated family into our project. Once you tab through the pieces of equipment and select any one of them, you can go to edit type and see that the EQ color parameter is available to be modified. I'm now going to enter values into this new parameter that we created. For the movable equipment, I'm going to set them to a color green. For the bed and the chair, I'm going to set that to red. The patient lift will be gray. And the pieces of equipment on the sides like the waist receptacles and the hamper, I'm going to set those to blue. Now, since we've entered values in our EQ color shared parameter, we can easily create filters in order to change the color of these individual elements. And the way to do that is to type in VG or go to visibility graphics override in your properties panel. Go to the filters tab and hit the edit new button. Create a new filter and I'm going to call this uh, EQ color the same as what we have been using. 
This is going to be applied to just the specialty equipment families. Now under filter rules, I do not see the parameter that we need. So I'm going to go to more parameters and I still don't see them. So let me choose add, go to shared parameters and then select the parameter that we need. So we want this to be a type and not an instance. Be careful about that because we want it to apply to all family types. Once that's been added, we can go back to our previous dialog box and under filter by we can choose EQ color equals green. So we have created our filter. We then have to go to add and add the new filter that we just made. So what I want this filter to do is change the lines of all the pieces of equipment with this particular green filter to a green line. And you can see that it did work. All our movable pieces of equipment like the carts, the side table, the IV stand and the doctor stool are now green in color. I'm going to go back to our filters and rename that parameter that I just created to EQ color green because I'm then going to duplicate it and create a new filter for blue. I'm going to duplicate it another time and change it to red. I'm going to choose a maroon col color for this particular filter. And finally, we need a fourth filter for gray. Once we hit apply, you can see that our shared parameters and filters work perfectly. All the pieces of equipment have changed color to the one that we wanted. So in this way, by using shared parameters, you have greater control over the individual elements in your nested Revit family. This concludes my three-part series on nested Revit families. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you'd like to see more tutorials such as these. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos on automation and building construction. Until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.